All right, welcome back, guys. Today's video, we got a uh, we got the Ashland scraper uh, from Ertl. This thing just came out pr fairly recently. Uh, it's a monster scraper, so I picked it up. Figured I'd do a video on it. Uh, pretty pretty neat toy. So um, starting off, it's got a neat little box here. You can see the real thing in the background, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it's a twenty. 2811E um, is the model of it. Um, it's got the standard Ertl packaging. You got your Ertl up there. See what's on the back. 450 to 620 recommended horsepower. So huge scraper. It takes a lot to pull it. Um, 132 cutting width. So that's the width of your blade. Um, and you can fit uh, 28 yards um cubic yards into your scraper which is a ton so this thing just came out 2024 um if you want to read anything else in the back you can just pause the video there so all right let's get into this thing Alrighty, here we've got it. Um, this thing is this is a heavy, heavy piece of metal right here. You can just physically, it's it's all metal. It's a, this thing's pretty heavy. Um, we'll start off up by the draw bar here, up by your hitch. Kind of good looking hitch. They got a lot of detail into that. Like if it'll focus, there you go. You can see like all your rivets there, like all your uh, bolts for your main hitch. And then where it would swivel and stuff there looks pretty good got your ashland decal on the side and their logo uh, got like your hydraulic lines here um your cylinder for raising it up and down your model there another logo on the back kind of neat like all the where it would open and close like they got all the hinges and stuff um, all those little side plates there Got your two logos on the front. Um, same thing on the other side. Uh, looks good there. I got a little reflectors on the sides right down there. Um, I kind of like how they opened it up a little bit. So like you could have it like it's working and pulling in some dirt there in the bottom. So it's open a little bit, which is kind of neat. Uh, you got your top, your little back brace there. Uh, that's kind of, that's pretty good looking. They got like the the grates in there and stuff you got your slow moving vehicle sign on the back reflectors on the back some big monster tires in the back too those look pretty good uh your hitch so you can pull two of them might have to get two in the future and we can really be getting some stuff done um got your logo there and a couple things on the back off of your hitch um on the bottom, we got the, oh, my bad. Ertl, made in Vietnam, 2024. I kind of like how they put the years on stuff so you know when it came out. That's pretty neat. But a good looking scraper overall. We'll put it on a tractor just to see what it looks like. Got the new 8RT here. If you haven't already watched that video, that one's posted on the channel, so go check that out. This tractor would, in real life, would be almost a little bit too small for this thing because it's rated for 450 to 620 horsepower. This thing's got 410 and not a whole lot of weight probably compared to a four wheel drive. So it would, you probably won't be able to do anything too deep with this thing. But otherwise it's a really good looking setup. Um, just a nice looking scraper overall though like you got your just a lot like a lot of little details they're all into the casting too but like just your bars here you got a little step kind of thing there um like i said the cylinders i like how they also painted the cylinder that looks nice too your hydraulics and everything um yeah huge scraper just kind of neat that we get one of these just by itself and you don't have to get it in the set like most of the john deere ones those are all in the set I'll pick, I'll grab one of the John Deere ones just to give it a side-by-side -side comparison. 
All right, there we got the comparison. These are the standard John Deere ones that come in uh, like the sets. I know there's a 9560 RT set with these. Um, and then there's an older set with a 9420, I believe. Um, so you can pick these up about the same thing in both sets, just copied and maybe some new decals. But like the size comparison is kind of crazy. Like you could, it's like almost double this. Um, lengthwise it's just a little bit longer but like you it's a lot deeper like you could fit a lot more in there so this would be more of the uh scale for the 8rt i put a big 9rx on this thing or something but there's your little side by side comparison just just to show how big this thing really is so just a neat toy and um kind of neat that they finally made some more implements like to see more implements coming out um just because a lot of times it's just tractors and trucks and stuff where some implements are kind of neat so um really cool toy and uh hope you guys enjoyed the video that's going to be about it for today so like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one